Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Close Combat with Miller Cucumber. Okay. Um Troarn it is. Uh the Germans have uh, still got our paras in in this corner and are keeping them there. And we cannot supply them efficiently. We fought the uh twenty sixth SS and twelfth SS with our Canadians. But uh yeah. Um that uh, that fight uh, is not going to be compatible, comparable with this one. This is going to be a very different fight, indeed. All right, so we've got some disorganized troops that we cannot possibly replace, so I won't do that. Um, I do believe we have firepower worth it. I'm going to have a look at the opponent for a moment. Okay. They've got mostly mortars and so and one machine gun and the rest of them is all grenadier uh, and company troop and dragon infantry. So this is well not that special. He does have a lot of grenadier left, but once we take care of the um, the Panzerjäger and uh, and the machine gun, we can put in tanks, uh, Tetrarch for instance, and he won't have anything to stop us. So that's nice. That's good to know. Um, I'm gonna take out the Spiat team though. That's just not gonna do it right now. We need infantry badly. Para brand group would do. There we go. <laughs> Alright. The Germans attack. So they're gonna try and push into our little area here. I'm gonna turn on the map again. There we go. It's a little map. It's a little tight map. And where's the other... Oh, no, that's not it. Where's the other thing? The the thing I seem to have forgotten. The no, no, that's not it. No, that's not it either. This is it. There we go. I was trying to find the thing. <laughs> you know the thing. Okay. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, so yeah, the Germans have to cross this nice little bridge area and uh, swamp area, and it's a. Uh, a bit of a slow moving area so that's gonna help quite a bit I think I'm gonna just deploy here at the tree line and uh, have them come over through these open fields and slaughter them uh, as they advance that's our plan okay let's get our first group into position and we'll position ourselves uh, to the right of the road with this top group. Put them on ambush. There we go. Put these guys... Oh, what are they doing all the way up there? Come on, guys. Get down here. Get, get to the water. The water. Can they see anything? Can they even a aim at the dike? Yes, they can. Okay, cool. That is good news. I'm gonna put them on ambush for the time being. There we go. Per brand group. Um, can we see anything from these houses? That would be really cool. Um, not necessarily, but well, it's actually not that bad. I guess I'll put them on the fence. No, I'll put them on ambush for now and have them, you know, look out the window or something. <laughs> and we have another brand group. Okie dokie. Put them right over here on ambush. And then we have another rifle group which we will put on the extreme flank here also on ambush. It's gonna be one big ambush. Do we have any kind of no, we don't. No machine guns or anything of that nature. <coughs> <coughs> That's okay, though. Okay, I'm going to hide these guys behind this pre previous uh, engagement vehicle. We're going to have a nice little rifle group near them. There we go, on ambush. And I guess what we could do with this Bren group, yet again, is put them in a building here. Um okay, can they fire onto the 
the thing here? Is that an option for them? Is there any way... Any way in... No. <laughs> this position is not a very good one. What about like this? If I position them like this, is there a way to, for them to look on the road? There is. Kubo. Ambush. Okay. They'll protect the road, basically. Now we have three inch mortars. I have a lot of mortars in this team, but that's okay. Which we will put right here on ambush. Now we have a headquarters units. That has a particular task of holding the road here. There we go. No, hold the road. That means you go up the road. There we go. Protecting the road is going to be their thing. The West Bank Road. Can they see the road? That's that's probably a more important question to ask. Yes, they can. They can even see around the road a little bit. So that's nice. Alright, we've got this air landing brand group. We'll probably put them in here. What can they see? Can they see across this... F yes, they can. They can actually see into this field there. That's nice. Okay, we have another rifle group right here that we'll put on the extreme flank here on ambush looking to the area there we have a, another rifle brand group we can do like this I'm, I'm gonna check all their positions though I don't trust myself okay good yeah that's good alright another brand group wow I've Really gone wild on the Ren groups. I don't know why. <laughs> on ambush. There we go. Guess I should get put these guys on ambush in this direction as well. And an air landing platoon headquarters. Now these air landing troops, they're not particularly efficient, so I'll just put them right here to give them give the troops a morale boost. Uh so that we have all of that covered. Okay, so we've got a nice little line here. It's a little thin on this side, but that's okay. Um, if they do manage, if the enemy does manage to push through there, we'll simply move some of the Bren groups out of the buildings and shift to the right. Uh, that might still be a good idea anyway, because these guys are not going to see that much. So let's move them already. We'll move them to this little area here and then you can sort of see anything I oh, don't know it's not a good idea <laughs> it, it was a good idea until I tried it's like drugs um, okay no this is fine I'm gonna handle it this way I can just come over this bridge or through the freaking marsh whatever they want if they do start moving across the bridge which they will because they want to score points We'll, we'll stop them. I see that I've already taken 8 minutes of your precious time just to set up. Sorry. <sighs> okay. I'm seriously wondering what the AI will do. Seriously. I don't know. It might not do anything. In that case you'll be looking at this screen for a long time. But then they have a mission. They w they have to capture some of these points. So one would think, at least, that they'd be uh, tempted to come over. Ah, there we go. Yeah, they're trying to cross the bridge by uh, doing that. Okay, that's nice. Lovely. Put these guys on the fence. Put these guys on the fence. There we go. Put these guys on the fence. And we're going to have some fun. Open up. Spring the trap, as they say. They have to cross the bridge there.
They're all huddled up in this corner. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, my my troops are going to have a field day stopping them. They have to cross this little area here. Oh, you're going to cross over there, really? Okay, that's cool. That's all cool. Put everyone here on the fence. That's also fine. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. Lots of crossfire. Have to move up under severe pressure there. There we go. It's not fantastic that the, the line of sight we have, but uh, it will do. It will do. Germans under serious pressure now. Oh, those these guys can now fire at them pretty efficiently. Yep, this is going to be a pretty horrible battle if the uh, Germans get any closer. And our mortars are really making good work of their uh, company troop there. So, yeah, they're going to get hurt badly. They're already getting hurt pretty badly. That one, isn't, that one is brave. Yep, no freaking chance. Their morale is already dipping. And I think they're out of shells as well very hard to hit me because I'm in sort of covered position so <laughs> this is going to be a big crossfire mess for the Germans here and with grenades still flying in from our uh, yeah exactly from our mortars it's going to be even harder just getting there oh man he's He's actually going into the swamp. But I think I, s I really um, shouldn't have uh, triggered it that quickly. How many shells do you still have? None. What about you? Six rounds, okay. No ammo for those guys. Okay, so I guess we're out of more ammo there. But apparently we're still firing, so that's interesting. Oh wow. Okay. Yep, not going well for them. Oh wow, okay, brave, very brave. They decide to run it, they decide to leg it and get in there. Another heavy fire. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, 
There's gonna be a moment where we can have a perfect shot at you, so... I don't know what you're trying. There we go. They're getting clipped. And a Diga trying to push through. It's gonna be a... One of those bullets is gonna hit you, son. And then you're gonna be sorry you're there. There's just no way. And maybe if we could keep the pressure on, they might break. That's what I'm hoping for here. That's what I that's what I built the uh, defense for. So, yeah. Okay. That guy is running off. He's like, fuck this shit, I'm leaving. <laughs> this is horrible. I don't know how many of these Germans we got, but... Uh, okay, as long as we have guys pushing in... Like this one... I think what I'll do is uh, just keep pressure on them. Okay, this this isn't very efficient, so gotta put them on ambush and just conserve ammo until they actually have a shot. Feigling, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna be a dick and hide. Except for these guys, they can fire. <laughs> Get into this corner here. Okay, German's still dying. I'm just let it die down and save ammo for now. We've taken our own bit of damage there, so... Uh, I want these Germans to cross. If they cross, and they're in the middle of this dike, then we open up. So, that's the plan. Okay. Alright, Germany. What do you got? What are you gonna do? You gonna move over with all your troops? That would be nice. You are, aren't you? Yes, you're gonna move over this dike. And once you get to this last guy here, or rather this dead group of Germans, I'm gonna just rip open with everything. Come on, come on, just, just keep moving, keep running. Do your do your worst. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're like they're oh they're hiding. They must be le they left. They sie sind uh, ja ein bisschen uh, Bier machen ja. Oh no, <laughs> we're still right here, baby. Open up, open up, open up, open up. We're still here. There we go. Gunther! Gunther, no! Not Gunther! There we go. These Germans are like, oh no, we're in the open. All right. Oh wow, those officers really brave. Whew. 
Okay, they surrendered. This guy here is like, oh, I'm not gonna fight anymore. No, it's, it's a bad idea. And it is. It really is. It is a terrible idea. Out on the dike of death. That's where you are. <laughs> a ceasefire, eh? Hmm. No. I don't think we will do that. Alright, you. You're on a, almost out of ammo. These guys are okay. The ammo department. You have a good shot, so I'm going to leave you there. Team lost? Team lost? Oh, okay, those platoon headquarter guys have died. Alright, in that case, I'm moving these guys in. Now would be a good time to, to use that last of the ammo. Defend your position. Go. You don't have any more ammo, but you can still capture the point. Let's get out of here. Brave men, those two. Leave, leave now. Okay. Alright. They took the flag, which is what we wanted. And the Germans are utterly pinned. I'm sure they do, but I have no interest in ceasefires right now. Oh, right. These guys can still fire. Eh, eh. What about these guys? Oh, they're still pretty good in the ammo department. Are you planning to surrender already? I think some of them have. Okay, alright. Battle ended because time ran out. Both sides still control some victory locations. The Allies won the battle because they control a greater number of crucial victory locations than the Axis. Uh, I'm, uh, I know it's a long video, but I want to see the details of this and the soldiers. Okay, so these guys got it. Unfortunately, the para platoon headquarters there got killed off first platoon. But the rest of them did all right. Second platoon. Oh no, second platoon uh, leaders that got killed. Second platoon did some nice killings, but I think most of the killing was done. Yes, definitely by these guys. The mortar teams did excellent. There we go. Yeah, they they have some severely wounded guys. And the machine gunner got some. Yeah. Lots of killed in action though. Okay. Alright. Well, we're holding them off. And that's what counts. Okay, well next time we'll be facing off against the 12th SS, 25th SS, right here. They have some Panzer IVs that might turn to be, uh, that might turn into a, a bloodbath all by itself. We have a Sherman Grab and, and an Aver here, and, and I really want to keep the Aver, so I'm going to swap that out I guess next time we play. Uh, but we do have our support, and we do have mortar support, so those SS men can just go and, yeah, stuff it, really.
Anyway, thank you all for joining me, and see you all next time. Bye-bye.